Four. The fight is on for the millennial vote. Turnout is key in the Granite State as candidates push to gain first-time voters here to weigh in. Millennial political strategist Sal Amastra, and we have Hadley Heath Manning of the Independent Women's Forum. Sal, how do you think that millennials are breaking in New Hampshire tonight? Are there a lot of them? I mean, are they essential in this vote up there? I think they are. I mean, you can obviously see that by Bernie Sanders' wide lead against Hillary Clinton. And if you go back last week to Iowa, you had 18 percent of millennials turn out there for a caucus, which is much more an intimidating process than the primary here in New Hampshire. He won millennials 80 to 20 against Hillary Clinton. So it's a big deal for him to get these voters out there and, and win tonight. And they're looking for someone like Bernie Sanders who offers a different solution. A lot of people think that this socialism should turn young voters off. But quite frankly, under the Obama economy, with all the hard they're facing. He's the only one really offering them a different route right now. Yeah, it's different, all right. Um, Hadley, which which of the GOP candidates do you think would appeal to millennials? Well, certainly in New Hampshire, this is going to be a dogfight for every vote among various candidates. If you look at the Iowa caucus, only 12 percent of Republican caucus goers were under 30. So a smaller portion of the electorate are millennials when it comes to the GOP. But when it comes to how those candidate, how those voters split among the various candidates, 27 percent went for Ted Cruz and then 24 for Marco Rubio above Donald Trump, who placed second overall. So ultimately, Marco Rubio is getting a boost from this group of, of voters because he tends to talk about the issues that are most important to them, the economy and jobs, and he talks about those things using a positive and inclusive tone. Sal, I think a lot of older people think that the reason why millennials are attracted to socialism is because, number one, they didn't live through the failure of it played out around the world. Maybe they think it has something to do with social media. They don't really understand what it is all about. And it sounds like for them, getting a lot of free stuff, like free tuition, um, you know, so they don't really understand that where the money to pay for all those things would come from. Are any of those characterizations even remotely fair? I, I think they are to an extent. I mean, if you look at the utopian type promises Bernie Sanders is offering them, of course it's easy to get caught up in that. But you have to look at Bernie Sanders' message when he talks about the system is rigged. I mean, you're looking at still double digit unemployment for millennials, 50% underemployment, 55% of them have less than $1,000 in savings. And you have Obama and all these other people talking about how great the economy is. Well, it's not for them. So they feel left out. And Bernie Sanders is the only one offering this message. So yeah. it's going to be really important in the next uh, few weeks for these top GOP contenders to really come out strong for capitalism and their message to really combat this socialistic message okay. coming from the left. Hadley, I mean, I, I hear from a lot of young people, millennials, who like Donald Trump, and he's kind of an old rich guy. I mean, why does he appeal to them? Well, a lot of this election on both sides has to do with voters who feel like their voices aren't being heard. And certainly that's why Senator Sanders is getting support on the left. That's why we see Donald Trump with so much support on the right. The box of voters who support these candidates feel like their wishes, their voter uh, issues haven't yeah. really been addressed by the establishment or by politicians who have been more traditional. They sort of hate the system in place and, and they have that in common with a lot of older people too. Thanks to both of you. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Melissa. Thank you. Well